You already know, man. It's Sue Surf, man. I just want every family to have a merry, merry Christmas, you know. Uh, I'm here. I support you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays from me. Happy holidays from my family. And I wish y'all the best. Merry Christmas. I love you, grandson. I miss you, grandson. And we will see each other soon. Love you. Love you. Love you. It's my shit, Uncle Ross. Battlers say what they want to say, and I disrespect Uncle Ross. I was going to lift him off the fucking ground, and I was going to kill him. Kills, when I'm calling for help, did it all myself, pain was felt. When I let that will go, that shit gon' park itself. And we keep a few new ops, tend it with a choppy, we done blew through blocks. Hey, it's fucking new dogs, man. Niggas, we just want to start on a movie. Like a couple feet, shit hit his back. With the lamb truck, we disrespect that shit. Nah, just hit him with my ass. Candles like Hanukkah, got body ya. With your life like I shot ya. Hook to machines, he'll be breathing with a monitor. His new nickname gonna be J Electronica. <laughs> Neighborhood Crip, nigga. Neighborhood Crip, nigga. Neighborhood Crip, nigga. Neighborhood Crip, nigga. No shit, cuz, but it's me. Moment of silence. Moment of silence. Moment of silence. If you ever lost your moms, respect and love her. It's still fresh. I'ma put up the tech. Would we'll never touch her. But in Danny Parallel Universe, you bet it, brother. We blow heat. Cold word, Monique. I would've made a movie out your precious mother. And if it ain't 40,000 or better, then it's fuck haters. Six so, nigga. Got no fucking friends, nigga. I found all my raps from jail. My paperwork, everything. Damn. Yo. Bruh. Nah. Yo, look at the time. Yo, look, I just flipped the screen over. Look what this shit say. Lord, forgive me for my sins. I've been to nigga. This is, this is, this is the real original, this is the original uh, bars on 95, yo. Yo, this quick look. You can tell because it's not look. Somebody just caught the case because I had to be. This different right here though. Look. Pay attention for the wires. Niggas be snakes. They don't know. Damn, this shit ain't even. This the not the. This the original. Like that's crazy. This really crazy to me. Ah, why is it so preserved though? Like this really house and Joe's phone vibrated for the umpteenth time. Like this really. Like look how many I was really writing this shit. Look, it's pages. Like this from this from when I. Died. <laughs> What makes you decide to give 
the opportunity to make this movie or something that is strong. Because my man Bill's got a lot. He's hot man, he's hot man, he's hot right now. What I'm right now is where we get an ass kicked. If that's what we're doing, he's just nervous. What don't work in AJ and it sounds crazy, but it's like the worst problem for them is that we on the car together. But when we on the car together, now we call each other every day. Yo, you finish it? Yo, you finish it? Yo, you finish it? Now I need my material to be better than rock shit, not just right. some shit. Damn. Damn. Like yeah. this, we battling each other. We battling each other. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Put better words for that. 60 weeks. That's like 30 years. If you do the math, 124 battles, that's still money. If you do a math, fuck it. That's cool. How much if I get if I'm if I battle four times, what I get? See, 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 Two days later, unfortunately, tickets are officially sold out. They went home, they sold out earlier today. How many plates you got in your head? They won't like your fate. I pistol whip them so bad that the pipe will break. They see twerk, I see another life to take. AR 556 hit his skull. That hand play to be a license plate. I was looking at them shots in your car. Six so crit, nigga. That's how I really rock. That's how I really rock, nigga. Dead homies. I was. Before I leave, I gotta empty this ratchet. You ain't gotta guess what's in my jeans. I'ma clap it. Old Navy guns. Put a gap up in his attic. Kenneth Cole is what rock away in this casket. Y'all motherfuckers the reason I'ma make a slaughter off a top. New chop I named Blood. I bought it off a of op. Custodian at the school. Walking with a mop. Earl Manic. Chill out. Chill out. Let me rap. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Y'all motherfuckers the reason I'ma make a slaughter off a of top. New chop I named Blood. I bought it off a of op. Custodian at the school. Walking with Earl Manigo. I can knock a coat off a of top. I can order that literally. Throw a bullet like it's my job. I know the quarterback's feeling me. Uh. These two nines start flipping shit around the room. I call these a paranormal activity. Oh. Oh. Okay. Find out we trap. And I'm there like you ain't got a block no more No sales, no PC, this ain't your spot no more Cop some big shit, ain't rolling with a Glock no more He questioned that red laser He turned into Craig Sega, that mean you ain't calling shots no more I don't wanna hear about the homie that put in work I wanna know what you did We on a time limit, speed date, and I wanna know who you is Two, two, threes, any contact, something off Arms out, backpedaling, I'm trying to teach my son to walk <laughs> I'm battling him, so what? I make that nigga wait. Only thing we got in common, I use a bitch in the nigga face. Shoot him, then scream, use a bitch in the nigga face. I never seen a gun range. Live targets, how I test mine. We might be from the same block. I get real nutty when I rep mine. Respect to this daughter. Now fuck that rock. Uh -huh. If I'm open, what? I'm a cow call for two bodies, two choirs. They gonna need more singers. Uh -huh. If I miss with all 26, I pull that long nick, the poor singers. Uh. I got the drop on a nigga. Heard the safe in the home. I pull up, I Bill Cosby, then I'm taking him home. Hold up, sir. That's a reach. How you gonna bill on a nigga? That ain't no reach, Rock. That mean I'm a pill on a nigga. <laughs> I ain't with the fucking jokes. Nitty will get buried with the work. Uh -huh. That's how you mix rum and coke. Ah. Everybody, I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on the Sue Surf situation. Uh, around 3.30 this afternoon via video conference from the Essex County Jail where he's being held. He went before a federal judge as part of this indictment, a superseding indictment that names him and nine others as part of a criminal enterprise, i.e. a RICO case, in which they were allegedly members of the Rolling 60 Crips and in incidents dating back to 2015 that included murder, conspiracy, drug dealing, weapons possession, and other charges that they were involved in this ongoing criminal enterprise and that they use social media in order to further their names. So he's being held right now on these charges.
URL battle rap star Sue Surf, aka Rajon Cox, is a talented musician and for the culture battle rap legend. He was born in Newark, New Jersey on January 15th of 1990. Sue Surf is 34 years young. Through the popular Ultimate Rap Battle League URL, Sue Surf became a world-known battle rap star and musician due to its aggressive battle rap style, introspective lyrics, and vivid storytelling. His ability to paint a picture with words allows his audience of listeners to widely experience the struggles, triumphs, and realities of his life and the streets he grew up on. His story is a theme that is ingrained deep within the URL culture. When Sue Surf was just 13 years old, he joined the Rolling 60s Neighborhood Crips, which is a set of the Crips gang. The Rolling 60s Neighborhood Crips is a street gang originally formed in Los Angeles, California in 1976. The Rolling 60s formed from the West Side Crips in the late 70s. The members identified themselves by wearing Seattle Mariners or Chicago White Sox logos. These hats signal which set they are a part of. However, the Rolling Sixties would catch mad heat when a situation caught the attention of the feds. In 1984, two members of the Rolling Crips were arrested for the murders of four members of professional NFL player Kermit Alexander's family. The boys still in their beds. Somehow, during the planning of the murders, for the benefit of the gang, someone accidentally got the wrong address and killed the wrong family. Come to find out, a businessman has set this whole incident up. It was a murder for hire plot. A business owner had paid Crips to kill a woman who had been shot and paralyzed in his bar and was suing him for two million dollars. The owner wanted the lawsuit to go away. Three thousand dollars changed hands with the Crips' best hitman to do the job, and it was Taekwon. The Crips told the business owner, "Pay us three thousand, and we will kill her." And so he did. So the Crips hired their best hitman, Taekwon Cox, to do the job. Taekwon, being illiterate, got the address wrong and showed up and killed the wrong family. Unable to read, and he got the address wrong. After killing the wrong family, Taekwon Cox ultimately was convicted of four counts of first degree murder and was sentenced to the electric chair after his guilty verdict. Man on San Quentin's death row. A stone cold killer who has never This brazen murder ultimately changed how the FBI and the US would fight gangs in America. This started with the Rolling Sixties Crip Gang set. This led to the creation of and benefit of a gang and a criminal case which adds a mandatory time to your sentence. The Rolling Sixties are allied with the Rolling Forties and the Rolling Nineties. They are rivals to the blood sets, the Hoover's factions, and the 83GC, which stands for 8 Trey Gangster Crips. Many of the individuals who were deep within the Crip sets relocated to states like Tennessee, Georgia, New York, and New Jersey, and Detroit, and Minneapolis. This led to many newer recruits forming in those states, welcoming new members to the Rolling Sixties gang. By 2006, a 58% uptake of Crips had made it all over the US.
but the 60s gang set was strong within New York, Sousert's neighborhood, of which at the age of 13, Sousert started seeing his friends die from gang violence, so he decided he wanted to live and would need to join his brothers and friends and be jumped into the rolling 60s sets. At the age of 18, behind banging, he caught his first gun charge. Sioux Surf Gang operated under the Silverback Guerrillas, or SBG, which also is subsetted into smaller groups. Most of the banging was done on Sanford Avenue, South Orange Avenue, to Tremont, to South Ashland. The most senior member within their set was Jason Franklin, aka Freak. Freak was responsible to communicate with other top members in Pennsylvania and Cali and issue orders to lower members to follow. Failure to follow those orders or carry out those orders without clearance would result in a gang disciplinary action and expulsion. A disciplinary action could result in a gang beating all the way up to murder. Next in line to Freak, AKA Jason Franklin, was a mere warden, aka Killer or Stamps. Killer was responsible for the export and transportation of drugs from Cali to Newark, New Jersey. In 2015, 10 members decided to group up to take over New Jersey and distribute narcotics from Cali to Newark. This included over 1,000 pounds of cannabis and birds, aka bricks of cocaine, per month. Here is a bar from Sue Surf where he reiterates his handling of large quantities of cocaine. We've been doing now, nigga. You play with birds. I play with birds. Wow, nigga. That's my little verse. Pow, nigga. Man got 40 December. That's a cow, nigga. <laughs> Rolling 60s members who conspired alongside Sue Surf to traffic narcotics were Elijah Williams, aka Little Smith, Trey Bird, aka G Bands, Kareem Green, aka Try Me, Tahane Terry, aka Roland Ty, Amir Warden, aka Killer, Amir Edmonds, aka G Baby, Abdul Jarrell, aka Run It Up, and IG Johnson, aka Ghetto. Together, these 10 would take over the city of Irvington, Newark, East Orange, and Crescent Lane housing projects, with Building 8 being the central spot to meet up and sell narcotics. However, they would go much deeper and started robbing and committing murder in furtherance of maintaining their street cred. With money flowing in through narcotic transactions, Sue Surf and his Rolling Sixties members created a creed that if any members failed to carry out orders from higher ranked crips or were being disloyal or cooperating with 12 will result in an immediate expulsion from the gang but not before you were shot and robbed for your disloyalty or for being a snitch. On July 19th of 2017, the Rolling Sixties met at the Crescent Housing Projects to discuss protecting their assets by acquiring more assets through fraudulent activities to later launder the money into legitimate revenue sources so eventually they could be legit. So members started committing bank and wire fraud by presenting fake tax returns and business documents to Bank America and Wells Fargo. They also provided fake business licenses that was provided by the Secretary of State to prove they actually had an S-Corp, an LLC business brand for the alleged clothing line, Silverback Gorillas. However, the manager at Wells Fargo had became suspicious about the documents and had sent the documents to the IRS for clarity.
The IRS was unable to validate their tax credentials and returned the memo to Wells Fargo that the information provided flagged as tax credentials none validated. This promoted Wells Fargo to outright deny the business loan altogether, but Wells Fargo would take it a step further and contact the FBI and make a report about suspicious business loan information supplied with the application. A public records request showed Wells Fargo had became suspicious with identity theft, as one of the members in the application had accidentally dropped another ID while pulling out paperwork from their folders. Members had even started to become brazen with their activities, in which they started using Instagram to sell narcotics. On December 6th of 2017, Freak logged into his Instagram account, Sig Kahana, and posted a post to another member stating, Pull up on me. I need a zip and put it all in one bag. The member responded, I got you. I'm gonna call my cousin for you right now. Give me a second. My phone charging. I'm gonna hit you in a second. Ray John Cox, aka Tsunami Surf, also started becoming brazen with his gang activities as well. On April 18th of 2017, Sue Surf logged into his Instagram account, Sue underscore Surf, and sent a direct message to one of his top members in the Rolling 60 Crips on how he had just stood on business, stating, I just caught an op lacking and blew down at him but I missed as the rolling 47 Crips started shooting back, so I had to shake the spot as fast as I could. However, Sue Surf didn't know this shooting would merely almost cost him his life in 2018. While Surf may not have riddled his body with bullets, he did rather though riddle his ego with reality that someone isn't afraid to take him out if given the opportunity and that this was war that he and his gang was going to have to take more seriously if he and his homeboys didn't want to die. Then in an effort to continue their brazen activities, Sousa broke the code of stupidity when on April 14th of 2018 he logged on to his Instagram account, Sue Surf, and sent a direct message to one of his Rolling 60s Crip members stating, I'm on my way to meet on South Orange Avenue and Smith Street to grab this MDMA. I got about two grams for sale. But they wasn't finished. They had a lot more to give to the feds. Four days later on April 18th, G-Bands and Run It Up had an amazing idea to rob two people after planning it on Instagram. They decided they weren't going to sell anything and opted why sell anything when you can just take it. So they called Sue Surf and stated, hey, we not going to sell them anything. We just going to take it. We will call you if we need to buy some. So they grabbed two Glocks and met the two victims on 15th Street in South Madison and robbed them for $550 in cold cash. The two victims ended up going home with no MDMA, no money, and an ass whooping coming if they got robbed with someone else's money on the line. Then on May 31st of 2018, Ghetto wanted his opportunity to give the feds some information to indict him as well. He logged into Instagram as Gorilla Gang 60 and messaged Sue Surf and stated, he just stole some cars and need to bump them off for the low. I got some Hot Wheels on deck and Q7 and a Benz, both for 1500. Day 2017 also, they still got the new car smell. Then on September 25th of 2018, 
Lil Smith wanted his opportunity to give information to the feds. He sent a direct message to all his Rolling 60 members in a group chat stating, I shot four members of the Jungle Boys today who were rivals to the Rolling 60s. He reiterated, I left one paralyzed. Check the news, Lokes. The four victims were later verified to be four members from the Jungle Boys who are a Bloods gang on 20th Street. Twelve had literally just arrested a dozen of their members the previous year for burglaries, robbery, ADW, fraud, distribution, and possession of weapons while under disability. Seems as though last year's arrest left them vulnerable without their weapons. However, that wouldn't stop the brazen accolades. The Rolling 60s Crip member stood up and decided he also wanted his opportunity to give the feds information to indict him as well. On January 30th of 2019, Tyheen Terry, aka Rolling Ty, logged onto his Instagram as underscore Rolling Ty and sent a message to Sue Surf and copied others and stated, I just stole some credit cards. What other ones you won't sold, Crip? Ghetto responded, which ones you got, cuz? You got that Chase card for sure, right? Let me see what the other ones go for on the market first. This would indicate to me that Ghetto is only wanting to buy the Chase as others are hard to buy things as the security measures have increased, but Chase has not added a security measure since 2019. Then on February 20th of 2019, G-Bands and Run It Up both logged into Facebook Messenger as ID Gretko CTB and Run It Up TNS to discuss stealing three cars in which G-Bands stated, I jumped in some shit, but the key wasn't in, so I only got down the block before the car turned off. So I jumped out and abandoned the car in the middle of the street. What the fuck? I thought you said everything was good and the keys was be in the car. Run it up responded, damn. Let me call Freak and see what's up. But my phone finna die. So don't trip, let's just try again tomorrow. Also, save up like $500, got a brand new 380 coming in and it's clean. Also, so we straight, but save up $500 to grab it once it touched down. I'ma hit you shortly. Battery finna die. Apparently, G-Bands wasn't very happy that he was ordered by gang leaders Sue Surf and Freak to steal a car that already had been set up, but in the sudden turn of events, the keys were not in the car as originally planned. So the car stalled during the theft, so G-Bands abandoned the vehicle. According to the discovery, it was a 2019 Charger Scat Pack, worth about a quick 10,000 had he got away with it and got it to the chop shop. But things were going to take a major turn of events when top leaders such as Surf and Freak got word that one of their members in Rolling Trub, aka Trub, was shot and killed by the ops. So Surf called a mandatory meeting with Jason and Freak logged into his Facebook under J60s and told all the 60 members to get over here now and that it was a mandatory gang meeting as Roland Trub was just shot and killed and bring your gun also. So Lil Smith seen this as an opportunity to give the feds information to indict him as well. He logged onto his Instagram account as Lil SCG and posted, I'm about to start a whole lot of trouble for trouble. The message was accompanied by three blue heart emojis. While waiting for all the gang members to show up, the leader freak sent a message to G-Bands that stated, Oh, on your way over, Still a car and don't forget your gun also. We riding on the ops tonight. 
No games, Surf already know. Don't play no games with me. This about my brother Trouble. I don't play about him. Freak message G Band stating, Where the fuck are you? Hurry up. I got some paperwork on individuals in our gang who's snitching, and I'm gonna expose them after we deal with these dudes who killed Trub. So what's taking you so long? Hurry the fuck up. g Bands finally replied, My bad. I couldn't find a babysitter, so I was not able to steal a car. My bad, G. Well, apparently, that wasn't the answer Freaky wanted to hear, because he responded, Little nigga, you think you the only motherfucker with a kid in priorities, nigga? I got four kids, a wife, and a job. Ain't nobody beg you to crimp up. You signed up for this life on your own, nigga. This what come with this life. Ain't my fault you lay down with a goofy thought. Next time, choose better. Well, apparently that hit below the belt because g Baz responded, but your BM don't be on BS like mine do. I know I messed up. All I'm asking for is a little more time. That's it. I promise I'm gonna steal a car so we can slide for trouble. Freak responded, I'm about to call Surf and you know he don't play. So don't play with me on trub. You signed up for this crip shit so you gon' slide on my dead homies. You got one job to do, and that's still a car. I ain't asked you to be the driver. Stop faking. If you ain't 160% with this shit, we don't need you. You looked little Trub in the face last week and said you down for this shit. Matter of fact, I'm finna call Surf and tell him how you farting out here, but he doing a face off with Calico and I ain't gonna fuck up cuz money, but you better get in line or I'm gonna call cuz. Well, Freak was right. Tsunami Surf was doing a face off with Calico in which it got very heated. Here is a clip of that face off with Surf while they were having this conversation. Where was that? What are you talking about? I don't give a fuck where it was at. If it ain't on you your realm, I'm not going to act like you stay how I'm going to act. Don't you? Fuck you talking don't about. You That's how 60, I act. You a 60 crib? That's how I act. That's how I act. Don't you live out here? You always telling. You've been telling since the first fucking... This shit like a Vlad interview, bro. You've been telling since the first... You jumped up and said your daddy had me. You've been telling for years now. Shut up. When what, do, I, what do what I what I bang got to do with what we talking about? I said, ain't you, ain't you from out here? Don't you live out here? You gonna win in Cali God for your six, but you ain't bro. gonna win at home. Oh, no, take that shit, bro. All around. this money you get, take that motherfucker. They ain't got to They can see who win it. I ain't got. I ain't, ain't nobody trying to kill me. I handle I business. Don't like this nigga, bro. This nigga you got you got people trying to kill you in Jersey, so you gotta be timid. I get it. I totally understand. I could pull up to anywhere in Detroit without no tent. They can see you in it. It don't matter. It's always the niggas that ain't into nothing. Like, into nothing. And I'm not. I'm a rapper. I'm That's not what I'm saying. Nothing. That want to speak on shit that you ain't into nothing. You can't handle you nothing I've right? been through. You, you got, can't handle you nothing. Tent. Clear. It you can't sense. handle I'm nothing I've been through. You, you can't handle sense. I know. And you said it. And that's the truth. And that's the truth, that's the God's honest truth on my mind. You are, you, I know you, nigga. I've watched you since I was 19 years old, nigga. You ain't did, you can't be through nothing I've been through, nigga. Nothing, no shootings, no either side of the gun, nigga. None of that shit, nigga. You can't, you done got shot five times, your bitch has to be dead. Why, cause you're a sweetheart, nigga. You a sweet, ain't got, ain't got nothing to do no stitches, ain't got nothing to do no saline, and ain't a million stitches that can stitch up heart, nigga. I got myself to the hospital, nigga. If you would've got shot where I got shot at, your bitch ass would've died, nigga. I got myself to the hospital. You a fucking sweetheart. You run around here acting like you wild. You not wild, nigga. Your daddy was wild. You a fucking rapper, like you said, nigga. Dead homies, you a rapper, nigga. Act like it, nigga. Them buffs is cool. Being from Detroit is cool. You from a, you from a street, please. You're of street essence. Everybody on the block is from the street. Even a little nigga sitting on the porch that's just watching a nigga's trap. Technically, he from the block. Even a nigga that's just walking down the street, going to school. Technically, he from the block because he live here. You just a nigga that was on the block. 
act like that, my nigga, for real. Y'all niggas is weirdo situations. Oh, nigga, from this side, let me go that way. Oh, let me, you don't know, you don't, you don't got them type of instincts at all. Have no fucking shots fly at you, nigga. You dumb, nigga. Niggas try to kill me, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Niggas try to kill me, and I got a zipper forever, nigga. Fuck is you talking, you sound stupid. Real niggas don't even play like that. I don't even talk about niggas. You know, I don't even talk about niggas getting shot. I would never talk about niggas getting shot. You're a fucking three. Therefore, since Surf was doing a face-off event with Calico, Freak would just continue to deal with g bad by himself for now. However, it would escalate to Surf soon. It looks like to me g bands doesn't want to get involved with the murder. The next day Freaky messaged Surf and run it up that g bands looking like a fraud out here. So Lil Smith messaged g bands on Instagram and stated, Freaky just hit me. What's up with you? You looking like a fraud. You the only motherfucker know how to steal a car. So that's why we on you. Steal some Hot Wheels and we off your ass. Lil Smith called Freaky and stated, G-Band's a fraud. I'm about to get it done without Hot Wheels. Freaky responded, real fucking crip on hood. I got a SRT track hawk. One of the lopes stole it like 20 minutes ago. Let's go now before it's tracked down. So Freaky picked up Lil Smith and they drove to Irvington High School. As Freaky pulled up, he spotted the alleged killer of Lil Trub, Marquise Jenkins, who is an affiliate of the Jungle Boys blood set. Lil Smith then jumped off the vehicle and chased Marquise, shooting and killing him on the 1100 block of Clinton Avenue. Here is the news story or news clip of the homicide. Here you see Elijah Williams, aka Little Smith, hop out the car and run up to Marquise Jenkins and chase him to the corner of the street and shoots and kills him instantly. He then runs back to the vehicle of which Jason Franklin, aka Freak, is driving. As Lil Smith runs back to the car, he leaves Jungle Boy's affiliate Marquise Jenkins dying on the corner of Lyndon and Clinton with his backpack lying in the center of the street. This brazen murder has made Freak proud that Lil Smith has now proven himself to the Crips that he is down after G-Bands left them hanging. I'm sure Surf was proud of Lil Smith now. Here is a photo run on Marquise Jenkins. Soon after the murder, Lil Smith decided he wanted to let the feds know he's now a murderer as he logged on to Instagram under Lil underscore SCG and posted a post stating, I wish Trub murderer wasn't dead so I could kill him again. A hey, surf, shit handled so keep your gun on you and watch out for the ops. One month later, Susur purchased a Beretta PX4 and 40 caliber pistol and a 9mm Taurus Brazil. He was ready for anyone who thinks they're gonna run up on him about Marquise. Susur also wanted to give the feds some information to indict him, as the next day, Susur logged on to Instagram under Su underscore surf and sent a direct message to the Rolling 60s stating, I got the blickies on deck. But 12 just ran in my shit and took both my guns. This shit like losing a friend. This shit hurt bad. They took my 40 cal and my 9mm with three crying emojis. However, hold on. Seems Lil Smith doesn't want to sit down after killing Marquise. Seems he wants to get a little more brazen and build a more solid case for the feds to indict him. Because on January 15th of 2020, 
he logged on to Instagram under Lil underscore SCG and DM the Rolling Sixties group stating, fuck the ops. I shot Mackie and his mans last year. They some snakes. They tried to kill me. I just don't miss. Axe Trub, I catch bodies for real, for real. However, it seems another member is starting to turn up and wants to join the stupidity club and also give the feds something to indict him as well because on January 16th of 2021, Rolling 60s members stamped, logged on to Instagram under Boss Man Stamps and stated to the Rolling 60s member, try me, where's my money? You better be on the block tonight and have my bread today on Crip. Try me responds, I know I owe you. That's why I've been on the block all day trying to get your bread. I know I owe you. I just started a five to 12 job. I ain't forgot. I know I owe you. I'm gonna make it right on the set, cuz. But seeing that was the least of the Rolling 60s issues, as a turn of events had just posted on the news that the murderer of Lil Trub, AKA Trub, was arrested and charged with murder. It became apparent to Lil Smith that Marquise wasn't the murderer, as he had originally known. Smith wasn't gonna apologize either, as Marquise was still an op and a member of the Jungle Boys. So Lil Smith stated on Instagram, You see that dude on the news? He from the Jungle Boys. He got booked for killing Trub. If he ever get out, I'm gonna kill him. And Surf bumped into an op today on Prospect treating traffic and told him on 6 so Crip, I'm gonna kill you when I bump into you while holding his gun in his hand. Dude was in a car so Surf couldn't bang on him. Surf bumped into the member who allegedly tried to kill him two years ago in which he rolled up on Surf at a red light and shot him numerous of times and fleed the scene. Surf was survived the shooting but was put on a shit bag for a few weeks. Here are some of the pictures of the car being shot up and Surf in the hospital. With the gang shootings, the murder of Marquise, the planning to assassinate another Jungle Boys member, the repeated carjackings, robberies, drug distribution, gang shootings, which all tied into racketeering across two or more cities involving 10 members in Sue Surf's Rolling 60 set in Newark, New Jersey, the FBI finally had the evidence they needed to file a RICO indictment on Freak, Lil Smith, G-Bands, Try Me, Rollin' Tie, Stamps, Sue Surf, G-Baby, Run It Up, and Ghetto, which were all members of Sue Surf's Rollin' 60 set appearing in multiple URL rap battles as his Crips entourage. They ultimately arrested all these members, of which Sue Surf, aka Rajon Cox, ended up pleading guilty to racketeering and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, dodging the murder charge, which would have landed him a minimum life sentence, which Lil Smith and Freaky is facing for the murder of Marquise Jenkins. The other members have yet to plea or go to trial.